Hi everybody, how is it going? In this tutorial video, we will learn to download and install R version 4 which recently was released on R project website. The same website also releases the R tools which is a tool chain required for compilation of the packages that come from other sources such as GitHub or other websites belonging to the researchers and organizations developing different R packages bases their research and development work. With this new version of R, the R project has also released a newest version of R tools which is compatible with this new version of R only. But to install both and make it run perfectly together will require some skills that I will train you on in this video. I will also install the famous ID R Studio so that we can use R and R tools with their full capabilities with awesome ease and aesthetically much better ways as compared to native R platform which is not that so comfortable to work with. Please note that we will install these three software on Windows machine. So let's first download the three exe files required for installation and we will start with downloading our exe file by clicking the first link in the description below you can land onto the CRAN web page where you can see plenty of information related to new version of R. You can even click on what's new link to learn more about the changes brought into this version of R. To download the exe file for Windows installation you have to click on the link download R 4.0.0 for Windows. It might take a while to download the file. Once download is complete by using the link provided in the description of this video, you can go to the web page from where you can download the R tools exe file. On this web page, you can see that all the required information is provided for successful installation of R tools. There are links to download the R tool exe files for either 64 bit Windows machines or for 32 bit Windows machines. Depending upon your machine, choose one of these. But for me, it is going to be 64 bit exe file. As we scroll down the page, we can see that there are some additional requirements after installation of R tools. Without completing these requirements, R tools will not be available for R and hence we compulsory have to follow as what is written here. Don't worry, we will also complete these steps. So let's download the exe file first since it will take a few seconds to minutes depending upon internet speed. Let's move on to the R Studio website and on the page from where we can download the exe file to install R Studio IDE. Using the third link in the description, we can directly land on that download page. Please note that at the time of recording of this video, the version 1.2.5042 is available for download using the link in the blue button here. Click to download the file and wait for finish. Since all the three files are downloaded on the machine, next I have created a folder on the desktop and named it as R. I have copied all the three exe files in this folder for installation purposes. Before beginning the installation process, I will first create a folder in C drive and name it as R. This is because I always install all the three software in this folder only. Although it is not necessary, but I find it convenient whenever I had to do some admin task. Let's go back to the desktop folder and begin the installation process. We'll start with installing R first. Right click on R exe file and choose the option run as administrator. This is because I want to give all the admin rights to this software installation. So in the pop-up window for setup, the first thing is to read and accept the terms and conditions for the software license and use, which if you wish, you can read it. But generally, I skip this and accept the default by clicking next button, which takes me to the next screen where I can either continue with the default location as shown on the window for installation or choose a new one. Since I already told, I usually install R, R tools and R studio, all three in the same folder, which is a folder named as R in C drive. And hence, I will change this default installation address to my favorite one as shown on the screen and then click next to go on to the next step. Here I will keep all the options checked as it is except for 32 bit files because my installation is only for 64 bit files. So I will uncheck the 32 bit option and click on the next button. I will let the default selection for the next two steps and click next two times. Then on selected additional task window, I will check for create a quick launch shortcut option so that R can be launched from windows menu. 
and then click next button again without changing any of the other default selected options on the window. So when we click next, installation starts. Let's wait for a while until installation is completed. At the end of installation, we will see pop-up window that reads click finish to exit setup as installation is completed and we do that. Let's review the installation in our folder in C drive and as we can see there is a folder that has name R-4.0.0 and inside it we can see lots of files to run R on the machine. In the next step we will install R tools from exe file that we already have downloaded. But before we install R tools let's make this R-4.0.0 folder as writable. To do so, using mouse right click on the folder and from the menu that popped up, select properties. In the pop-up window, uncheck read only option and then click apply then ok to make folder and all the files within it writable. Let's go back to desktop folder. We already have installed R and now we will install R tools. Using mouse right click on rtool.exe file and then choosing run as administrator to begin installing it after granting all the admin rights to it. In the pop up window we have to change the path to install our tools so let's do that. Then click next and leave the default options as it is and then click next to review the installation info. All looks good so click next and wait until finish of the installation process which might take a while. Finally click on finish button to exit the setup and we are done with installing our tools as well. Let's go to installation folder where we can see that all the files are there which looks good. We now go to the R tools web page and complete the other steps to put the R tools on the path so that it is available for compilation process of R packages. As we can see that on this web page, it is written that we have to do two things as follow up steps. The first to create an environment path and second set this path to our environment file as well. So let's begin with creating environment path first. Open up system environment variables editor by typing environment in windows search menu and then clicking on the result as shown on the screen. This will pop up a system properties window where we have to click on environment variables button which opens up another window where we can create the path and define the variable for this path. Click on the new button at the bottom of this window and in the new system variable let's type variable name as rtools40 underscore home all in capital letters. And then in variable value we have to specify the path for our tools folder. Let's copy that path as shown on the screen. This folder has two important subfolders the user and inside user folder is bin folder where all the executable files are residing. Copy only top level folder path and paste it on the environment variable window as shown followed by a slash and then click on OK button to complete this task. Similarly, we have to do this for user variables as shown on the screen. Then select path variable and click on edit button which will pop up a window where we click on new button and then we type percentage rtools40 underscore home percentage slash user slash bin slash as shown on the screen and then click on ok button and then again click on ok button. So we have completed the first step of setting up environment path to our tools executable files. But before we complete the next step, let's first install the R Studio IDE using the exe file. As usual, mouse right click on the exe file and select the option run as administrator from the menu when pop-up window appears. Change the path in the destination folder as install location as shown on the screen and then click on the next button two times to begin installation. Wait until end and when completing our studio setup window appears, click finish button to complete the installation and setup. So now we have completed all the three software installation but still left out with last step of setting up our tools for packages compilation in R. Let's fire up our studio IDE by popping up windows menu from the bottom left and click on our studio app link there as shown on the screen. So here we are on our studio IDE. We can clearly observe that our version 4.0.0 appears in the bottom left pane which is better known as console window of our studio IDE. Let's clear the console by selecting control and L key together on keyboard. We now go back on the R tools web page and copy the sys.which command 
and paste it on our script editor which is top left pane of our studio. If we execute this code by placing the cursor and clicking on the run button on our studio as shown on the screen, the result is printed on the console window which shows the path of our tool make file needed to compile the R packages. Now let's go back onto our tools web page one more time and copy the right line code as shown on the screen and paste it on our skipped editor then hit run button again to execute it. This will save the path of our tools which currently is within windows environment but after execution of the code it is also saved into .rnviron file which is a global environment access file which R reads before execution of any of the codes later. So this path will make R tools available for R every time R needs to compile a source package. So we are all set now. Let's test our installation and environment. Copy the code from the R tools web page in which we install the package JSON Lite from source and which requires the compilation with R. Paste it on R script editor on R studio and execute it by hitting run button as shown on the screen. We can see that R downloads the package and begins the compilation process as shown on the screen. Wait until this process is completed. Awesome, we got no error on the console and installation completed successfully after compilation. In the right hand side bottom pane on RStudio under tab packages, we can see a search bar type JSON Lite in it and we can see in the list the name appears which means we now can use this package. If we click on update button just below the packages tab, our studio will update all existing packages for which newer versions are available on the CRAN. So when we click it, it checks for the new versions of packages and returns a list which we can select and click on install updates to update the packages as shown on the screen. If asked for the confirmation that you want to install the package which requires compilation, select yes. And here we go. It might take a while to complete this process. Please wait until finish. One last step. Click on install button under packages tab and in the pop-up window we see the default option to download the package from CRAN and location where these packages we installed on the machine. In the middle option we can type the package name whatever we want to install. Let's type ggplot and from the list of options that appears we select ggplot2 as the package name and click on install button to begin the process. This is the easiest way of installing multiple packages without any errors. This is all. Awesome! You have completed the installation of the three software and make these work together without any issues. Please hit the like button and write your comments to let me know if you have faced any issues or have suggestions. Also please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far to support me and to get the early updates on the future releases of my tutorials. Share this video with your friends and colleagues if you think it might help them as well. See you in the next video. Thank you and happy learning.